become a change agent after this conversion in Jesus' name. If you go out of here and you continue in your normal life, nothing will be different in your situation. You can't keep blaming people for your mistake, but you have to own up to your mistake so you can change. And when time comes, you will not fall into the same mistake again. That's why we send our children to school. They won't send them there to acquire knowledge, but knowledge acquired or use is as useless as nothing. You spend hours and hours to meditate, to study. You have a certificate, and you're not working with the certificate, and you are begging. What is the essence of you being to school? Hallelujah. Joseph was born like you and I. In a family, I call him a man who grew among the tongues. Years ago, I had the inspiration to write a book on growing among the tongues. But I said it, it would be unfair to my family members. God, they were like tongue when I was growing. They were all ready to shoot me down. I said it, was be, it, it would be very unfair to them. But I grew among tongues. But thank God that this all the odds and the challenges of life, the destiny that God has ordained for me as your pastor, speak. Not by power, nor by might, but by his spirit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just want to help you a little bit throughout this. This is what we'll be dealing with. There is nothing that I can't do it. No. Take the tea out of the can. What, what is left over there is can. And Apostle Paul said it better in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 11 through 13. He said, I have learned the character needed for you, the humility needed to get to the height of your destiny. You can learn it. That is one thing I want us to learn from this prayer meeting. You can learn to become a change agent. Oh, no. You can learn to be a leader. You can learn to be great in life. You can learn to be different. Don't tell me that I can't do it, Pastor. There is nothing that I cannot. I don't accept can't in my life. I can't. I don't. I don't. If Caleb and Joshua and Joshua say, give me another mountain as it was 40 years ago and I will bring it down, I stand as a Caleb of my generation. Give me the mountain. Unless if there is no God. It's not me who will solve it. God will solve it for us. Dare to be different. Stand to change your status quo. Stand. Stand for it. Fight for your marriage if need be. Fight for your husband. Fight for your wife. Fight for your children. Stand on your ground. Don't let me go there because I know people who are in the church who are ready to stand on their ground. If you are here, you are, you are afraid. I challenge you from this night. Greater is it. Do you have dream? I dream bigger from tonight. Dream bigger. Dream, dream. Listen. Dream bigger. With impartation, dream bigger. Don't settle for the crumbs. Hallelujah. Pharaoh said unto Joseph and the Israelites, the land of Egypt, mind you, they were foreigners, right? They were foreigners. And they came to Egypt because of food. There was drought and famine in the land of Cana. That was what brought them into Egypt. Now, they appear before the king of Egypt now, and the king said to them, the old land is before you. Go to the best part. Why? Because there was someone who dared to be different. There was someone who dared to pay the price. We don't want to pay the price. But we want the enjoyment. We don't want to pay the price. You said pay the price. You see, after studying, after studying the old Genesis through, and I said to myself, what went wrong with the mind of Joseph's brothers? What went wrong? 
you were very myopic. You have heard about the 12 tribe of Israel. All their names were great, but they were myopic. They could not see beyond their, 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 their immediate surrounding. They could, not, they could not see through the eyes of faith. So they concentrate on being jealous to the point of killing and destroying their own brother. Do, do you get it? Yes, Without them lifting up a finger against Joseph, God had already made their name great. Yes. But they didn't know. Oh my goodness. It is my prayer that our eyes of understanding be opened. Amen. Oh. Why should I be at the bank of a river and I'll be testing, I'll be crying? That's an eyesore. It's an aberration. That's, that's. <sighs> you, 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 are, you are in a cafeteria where food is smelling and you are hungry. Even though you don't have money, you can walk into whoever that is there. Please, I'm serving today. Help me. Other than sitting down and be crying, and you are just smelling. Smelling. <laughs> Hallelujah. May our eyes of understanding be open. May the Lord bet in us miracles, signs, and wonder. May He connect our destiny to our present, our future to our present. May He share up His grace in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Joseph paid the price. I call it the character building. And I will talk, I will teach on that one. Character building. If you want to be great in life, you want to be great in life, there are things ah, that you have to let go. You, you, have to, you just have to let go. Life is process. From point A to Z, it's process. And in those process, if you don't understand what you're letting go and what you're taking in, mind you, whatever you're giving to the mind is what comes out of a life. Whatever you take in into a mind, see our younger kids, as young as they are, we feed them with a lot of things. That's what we're giving into their mind, right? What we're feeding them with is what we become of them in future. That's what I mean. Whatever you take in or you give into a mind, is what that mind will bring forth as a life in future. There are things we have to when we are infants, we depend on our parents, but when you become a toddler, as a toddler, you begin to see your friends now. You begin to notice what your friends are doing. You begin to emulate and begin to say, no, mom, I can't go to When you begin growing a little bit now to the teenagers now, it's all my friends. No mom, no daddy anymore. But listen, when you become an adolescent, when you become no more a child, no toddler, no infant, when you become a grown-up now, you are on your own. You are already made. You are already made. So it's a stages. That's what I call it process. It is process. But see, Apostle Paul say, when I was a child, I behaved like a child. See, I acted like a child. So, but when I now, when I become a grown up, see, I do away with certain things. Are, are we doing away with things that can make us grief in life? Are, are we doing away with them? To become a change agent, brother and sister, listen, the easy we can be here and pray from now till that kingdom come. If that decision is not coming from you, you cannot become a change agent. What do you want to change? If you don't change yourself, don't change your attitude, your character, if you can't change it, who do you want to change? What do you want to change? The world will see the changes in you before they emulate from you. It is what they see in you that they will emulate. You can't teach me to be great if you are not great. I can't share testimony with you if I, don't, if I haven't been through. I have been through it. And your testimony is inside of you. Oh, hallelujah. Your testimony of tomorrow is inside of you. Dream those good dreams. 
Believe in those good dreams. I will celebrate you. I will celebrate you. I will celebrate your end in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Let's start up on our feet. Let's start up on our feet. The one thing I just want you to pray about before I ask my wife to come onto the pulpit, I said it on prayer line yesterday. The pit did not stop Joseph. The scorpion, the serpent, the wild animals, not even Potiphar's wife could stop his destiny. The baker, the butler. That's why his interpretation of their dream, and they neglected and forgot about it for two years, they could not even stop the destiny of Joseph. I don't know what is stopping you. I don't know what is stopping you. I want you to pray unto the Lord. Those good dreams that you have, no demon will stop it. If the dreams come from God, I come to announce to you that you will not die until you fulfill the God that was with Joseph. Let that God be your God. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Lord, I, I, I become unstoppable from this hour by revelation, knowledge of your word as you were with King of glory. Joseph, King of glory, be with me. You caused him to dream. You led him through the journey of life and he activated a Accomplish, establish his dream. I stand in your presence on this altar tonight. I decree every good dream you have given unto us in this household of faith. Those dreams will speak in the name of Jesus. Our dreams will speak. They will be activated by the power of your Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, they will be accomplished and established. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our dreams... Our dreams, our dreams, our dreams, our dreams will not die in the name of Jesus. May the life of God come upon all our dreams. All the dream books, wherever they are, I release the life of God upon those dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. From the archives where you are piled, where you are stored, I command grace of God to locate all your dreams. You will not give up on your dreams. Your dreams will not give up on you. You will not die of fulfilling your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, righteous God of heaven and earth. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. It is my honor and I'm privileged to invite my wife who will be speaking tonight. Please get your notebook and pen. I know God has something in store for you. Let's put our hands together for the Lord as we wake him and unto the prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. If this is your power, if this is your glory, if this is your presence, let it rain. If this is your power, if this is your glory, if this is your presence, let it rain, let it rain all over me, let it rain all over me. Amen. I want to teach us a song. 
I'm not sure if you know it. If you know it, just follow it. I'll say yes, oh yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes. That's it. Amen. I'll say yes, oh yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes. I say yes, Lord, I'll say yes, oh yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes. I'll say yes, Lord, I'll say yes, oh yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes. One more time, I'll say yes, oh yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes, declaration, and the answer will be yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes, oh yes, and the answer will be yes oh yes and the answer will be yes oh yes amen hallelujah let's have a word of prayer father we thank you will bless you because you are god from the rising of the sun to the going down the same you are the unchangeable changer that preserves lives you are the one that has kept us even from the beginning of the year till now, oh God. And we ascribe all the glory unto you. And we say, blessed be your name for great things that you have done. Many have died, but you have kept us. Our life and standing. Father, we just bless you. We glorify you and we praise you, Jesus. Because you are the reason for this season. You are the reason for this period, oh God. And we thank you because we are in our Goshen. A land that flows with abundance and with greatness. Father, we just say thank you. Lord, we ask, oh God, tonight that you will teach us, oh God, even your word, oh God, that we will understand, oh God, and have a deeper revelation of the truth, oh God. Father, we say thank you. Oh, Lord, we ask, oh God, that chains and shackles be broken. Let burdens be lifted, oh God. Let yokes be destroyed. Let healing take place. Let there be manifestation. And Father, Lord God, relocate us this hour to the land of Goshen, the promised land, the land of abundance, the land of deliverance, the land of healing. Father, we say thank you. Because after all has been said and done, we will ascribe every glory to your name. Lord, we just bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please have your majestic seats at this time. Hallelujah. I thank God, the author and the finisher of my life, the bishop of my soul, and I bless the name of the Lord. Saints, I want you to give a big smile. Smile to God because he has kept us. He has kept us alive for a reason. And that reason will surely be fulfilled. I congratulate every single one of you for joining this Goshen 2017. Saints, I want you to tell your neighbor that I celebrate you. I celebrate you. Turn to the next neighbor and say, I celebrate you. Oh, wow. When they were in Goshen, it was a time of celebration. It was a time of renewing. Amen. We are in a Goshen. 
we are in our Goshen. And I have no doubt, oh, that the Lord God is about to birth miracles. Miracles in our lives. I thank God because there was something, not even something, but I want to share something. If you are believing God for a, something, I want you to just have a rest mind that the thing is already done. Fear not. Clouds will come up. Weathers will come up. Challenges and obstacles. I struggled with something late last year. It nearly tore me apart. But I stood upon the word of the Lord. That I said, God is not a man that should lie, neither the son of man that should repent. But I stood upon God. And I know the Lord God, before the end of the season, said, fear not, for I am with you. In Isaiah chapter 41, the Lord said to the of Israel, fear not, because God is with you. And I said, Lord, I don't even know where to turn. I don't know what else to do. But I will turn unto you. The one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Lo and behold, it came like a surprise. And the Lord said, you know what? I will make a way even when there seems to be no way. And the Lord sure did make a way. On November 30th. Hallelujah. I got that good news. That whatever. That transpired. The Lord said. He will restore. When was the book launch? The book launch was sometime in November right? I tell you something. I don't want to say anything. Because it's going to blow everybody's mind. There's a miracle that I also got again in November. What man thinks it was impossible. When you're about to step into the promised land, listen, do not complain, do not mourn. Because it will, you, it will open up. When the children of God got into Jordan and the priest went ahead, because that was the instructions that was given to Moses, that let the priest, the Levites, that was ordained, that was called, go ahead of them, and they did. They stepped their feet into Jordan, and Jordan did way. He parted way. He parted way. How can they see to a lame man? How can they see you're going into a river, and you're saying, stepping your feet into that river, and the river passing way? Saints, I prophesy, I prophetically declare into your life this hour that your Jordan begin to make a way. Your Red Sea begin to part for you to get across, for you to move ahead, for you to tap what belongs to you, for you to possess your possession. Saints, before the book launch, before the book launch, which is 11th, 11th, I can boldly say what normally takes somebody six months in New York do. The Lord God did it in two months. Documents were signed. Hallelujah! People around me thought it would be shady. It would be, it, it's not going to be for real. But God proved himself that when he's in charge, all protocols are broken. Saints, as you are seated here, you are in the right place. You are in Goshen. We just read about the children of Israel. They left their cattle. They took their cattle, their livestock, including their father Jacob. And they went to Egypt. They went to meet Joseph. Joseph already went ahead. And you know what happened? Joseph gave them the best place. Goshen means drawing near. Goshen means coming closer. Goshen means a place of abundance. 
When they were lack, they didn't lack in Goshen. When they were getting sick around other places, no one was sick in Goshen. When they were in need, there was no need in Goshen, but they lived in abundance. And if you look at that map in Egypt, it was a tiny little area. And I have good news for you tonight. Wherever you are, you will flourish. Yeah. Wherever you are, you will flourish. Saints, I want you to connect to this vision. There were two children that were moved from a school district to another school district. I have good news for you. Wherever the enemy move you to, jo Joseph said in Genesis chapter 50 verse 20, he said what the enemy meant for evil. The Lord God turned it around to be good. They moved these children to another school district. Thinking that they were going to hurt their destiny. Who is man to decree and it come to pass when the Lord God had not spoken? According to Lamentation chapter 3, he said, no. And I said, they are moving you to another district. Don't worry about it. As long as God sits on that throne of heaven, you will flourish. Yeah. Within two weeks or three weeks, a report came. High honor roll. A report came. Distinction. When the, oh, Jesus. I have not even started. They placed Joseph into a pit. Amen? You might have been placed into a pit this moment. You might have been sitting inside a pit in this season. 2017 might not as look good for you in this period, but I want you to know that the Lord says that he is the rewriter of history. He is the changer of destiny. He will rewrite your history. He will catapult you to the next level. He will make you to be celebrated. He will distinguish you among honors. He will make you outstanding among those who are standing in the name of Jesus. How many people watch the beauty show, the, the pageant show? Of course, many people are always interested in watching the pageant show, right? And they will, they, will lay, they will line up all the ladies. And they will start making ballots. And they will, the judges will be there, and they will start casting all their points, right? But I tell you something. That was exactly the same thing that they did to a little girl in the Bible that we all know of. A girl that had no father, no mother that was not rich, that was not prepared well. A girl that was an orphanage. But when the Lord was about to do something different, somebody's case, somebody's position was vacated. I decree under this anointing, your Vashti is coming down. Why your Esther is being enthroned. Your Vashti is coming down. Why your Aunt Esther will be enthroned. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Saints, my time is going quickly, but I know the Holy Spirit will help me because it's not by power. There is a word for you. There is a word for you. I want you to prophesy to your life this hour that there is a word for me, a word of now and a word of this season, and I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn your Bible this hour to Numbers 27. Numbers 27. Hallelujah. Our title here is Dare to Be Different. And remember, you know what, this, what the definition of dare means? Courageous. To do something that has never happened before. Saints, in this 2017 Goshen, we're going to experience a difference. In the name of Jesus, your thinking will be changed. Your mindset will be changed. Your character will be changed. Your attitude will be changed. Because you cannot keep doing the same exact thing and expect a different result. These kids that I'm about to present to you, these few ladies that I'm about to present to you, they were so bold and they were so unique. What they did, they did something different. And I know for a fact that they must have read about history. It's good to know about history so that you know where to start from, so that you know where your starting point is, and you will forge our head into what your starting point is. Amen. So are we there? Numbers 27, 1 to, 7, 1 to 11. And I read in Jesus' name. Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, 
the son of Ephraim, the son of Gilead, the son of Machar, and the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hoglah, and Micah, and Tezer. And they stood before Moses and before Eleazar, the priest, and before the princes and all the congregation by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, I want you to pause there. How many of the ladies stood before? There were five ladies. When I was reading it, I said, Holy Spirit, minister deeply. And the Lord said, in you will get it. Because when you ask, it will be given. Five means the number of grace. These young ladies, they were sisters, born from the same. They understood what is all about. They understood what uniqueness is all about. A house that is divided, things cannot stand for. These five ladies, they came together and they talked among themselves and said, you know what? We are going together in boldness and in all unity. We're going to meet. This is braveness. I was reading it, and Jesus, the Lord said to me, pause. Flip your Bible to Proverbs 28, verse 1. Quickly flip what it says in Proverbs 28. We're going somewhere. In order for you to be different, as I'm talking to the adults, and I'm also talking to the children, you need to be bold. In order for you to be different, you need to separate yourself from the crowd. Because crowd will distract you and make you to lose focus. In order for you to be different, you need to break protocols. Protocols needs to be broken. What has never been done before, you cannot go with the paper and say this is what has been done. Are we there? Can somebody quickly read Proverbs 28 verse 1 and see? Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. The Bible says that the wicked run it when nobody chases them. But the righteous, as bold as a lion, saints in the house, if you are bold, you'll be able to stand the test of time. You'll be able to stand the, stand the test of time. Any challenges that comes your way. Because you will keep reminding yourself of God's promises. What God says, what does the Bible say? Remember, it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God delivered them out of it all. These five young ladies, their father already died. Their mother's name was not mentioned, but something was about to happen. Let me quickly tell you, bring you back to the prior chapter in verse 26. They already crossed over to the promised land. And instructions went out from the I am that I am that the portion of each tribe must be given to them. It must be apportioned accordingly from, the, from Reuben tribe all the way to Benjamin, all the 12 tribes of Israel. And you know what happened? This lady said, no, something will be done in justice. Injustice will be done if, we're, if something does not take place. And they call themselves they sought each other's opinion. I don't know if the first was the one that called the last, but it was five of them that got together. And they debated among themselves. You know what? We're going to Moses. During the time of hold, people dare not go to Moses anyhow. You know what happened? They will complain, they will murmur, and the case will be brought before Aaron, and Aaron will pre present it for Moses. There were protocols, but they decided and said, this is a do or die case. 2017, God sent for you. You must dare to be different. You must dare to go all the way. Breaking barriers. Breaking protocols. Breaking whatever that have been stipulated. Because why? You are carrying the power of grace. Let's quickly go further. Huh. In verse 3. Our father died in the wilderness. And it was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin and had no sons. 
Why should the name of our father be done away from among his family? Because he had no son. Give unto us, therefore, a possession among the brethren of our father. When you talk of standing tall, they stood tall. They didn't even say, please. They went before Moses. Moses was challenged. And Moses did what? Moses, Eliezer, the priest. In fact, all the leaders were called. And said, you know, these young ladies have presented their matters. Saints, wherever you are this hour, I want you to bow down your head to your Jehovah God. And I want to say, God, I am presenting my matter before you. The matter that I cannot share with my pastor. The matter that I cannot share with my boss. The matter that I cannot share with my family. I bring this matter before you. And I ask, oh God, that you begin to step in. Begin to talk to the Lord. You are in Goshen. Goshen 2017 must be of a difference. Your case needs to be answered. Your case needs to be heard. I want you to prophesy to your life. This is my time. This is my season. This is my hour. I present my matter. I present my case before you. I know for a fact uh, my case will be heard in the name of Jesus. It will no longer be delayed. It will no longer be denied. But it will be heard hurriedly, speedily, because I serve a working miracle God in the name of Jesus. What has had me bound, I ask of God this hour, let it be loose. Lose me and let me go to possess my gates, to possess the gates of my enemies. Oh, Lord, I say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let it be so as we have prayed in Jesus' name. And Moses went and brought the case because Moses could not dissect this case by himself. He couldn't. He said, you know what? I feel your pain. But under the law of the land, women must not be given. But their father died in the wilderness because of his own sin. Remember in Numbers 14, when Dotan and Koran rose up against Moses, and Moses called the judgment of God upon them, and they perished. They also reminded Moses and said, no, our father was not part of it, oh. He, soon, he just died because of his own sin. So you, should know, you shouldn't even take it upon us. Moses said, the Lord, hallelujah. One thing I know about God, he's a God that never fails. He's a God that shows pity. He's a God that is tender in mercy. He's a God that is so gracious in mercy. Whenever you cry upon him, he will answer. So that his name must not be dragged in mud. He protects his I have highly exalted my reach. Far above any of my names. They presented the matter to God. And the decision came quickly. Say to yourself, quickly. My problems will be answered quickly. My miracles will be here quickly. The answer came quickly. Let's go. I don't want to talk alone, but I want you to see what is happening here. And Moses brought their course before the Lord in verse 5 and verse 6. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Right, thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren. And thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass on to them. Saints, that is what I called here to be different. What if Moses said, the Lord said, you are not They presented a matter. God. What matter are you presenting to the Lord? We must check ourselves and evaluate ourselves. We want to reside in Goshen. Because our God is a God of principle. Our God is a God of orderliness. They had no husband. If you read it very well, they were single women. Some of them are in a maritable age. But because of incidents that happened, they all waited. This way, the remnant passed over. How 
could they live in the wilderness, crossing to the promised land and not eating? It's an abomination. It can't happen. They broke the protocols. Saints, for you to be different in Goshen, break protocols. Joseph broke protocols. Because you know why? I don't want to say what Joseph said. I want you to be closer to me. Trust me, if it was you and I, I would put them in the West Coast while I would remain in the East Coast. Because I would say a man's thinking is always the same. When they do it once, they will do it again. No. Goshen, um, um, Joseph never thought that way. But I want you closer. Joseph was a type of Christ. Hallelujah. Moses was a type of Christ because he led with boldness. He reasoned with boldness. Saints, we must be a type of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For you to dwell in Goshen, be a type of Christ. Jesus Christ also did things that were different, completely. But all the miracles that he performed, every one of us know that it was born out of compassion. One minute he will tell you, he will spat on the um, floor, and he will use this uh, um, clay to wipe, off, to wipe, wipe, um, um, wipe your eyes, and he will tell you, go, your sin has made you well. Your faith has made you well. Go and sin no more. Sometimes you, someone just touched the hem of the garment, and she received that instant healing. There were di there's different methods of different methods of miracle. I don't want you to feel that you know what you have been coming to Goshen year after year. You have been coming to Goshen period after period. You have been coming to Goshen event after event. I want you to purpose in your heart that your Goshen is different. 2017 Goshen is different. Yeah. With or without anything, you are marching forward. With or without anything, you are possessing the land. With or without anyone that you are eating the good of the land. I thank God for this young lady's life. Look at what happened. In verse 7. The daughters of Zelophead at speak right. Thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren. And thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. In verse 8. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a man died and have no son, then shall ye cause his inheritance to pass unto his daughters. Saints, there was a law that was passed. In order for you to be different, you must make an impact. Hallelujah. There's a great woman in our days, our history, that made a difference. Hallelujah. It was a pack. Hallelujah. She did what anybody could not do in Alabama. And she said, you know what? This got to stop. We're looking for women and men that will rise up in this end time period. And they will say no more poverty. No more to slavery, no more to abuse, no more to evil, no more, no more to ungodliness. Christ is counting on you. So that our possession will be given back unto us. Saints, I want you to know, sit down, nothing happens. If you sit down, nothing happens. If you fold your hands, nothing happens. Pastor was saying something earlier. Whatever you need, somebody like me, people used to call me go-getter back in the days. I just, I've just relaxed a little bit. A go-getter, not a go-digger. Hallelujah. There's a difference between a go-digger and a go-getter. Whatever I need, trust me. I will make a point that I will get it. I don't want you to, I don't want to tell you the otherwise. I'm a kind of person back in the days, not joke with me. Because when you joke with me and you dare me, that I dare you go to talk to that person easily. 
I will go ahead. Be a go-getter. The Zilophiad girls, they were go-getters. They broke protocols. They removed restrictions. In this day and time, we need to remove restrictions. What has never been done before in your history, let it be done now in you. Whatever that they have not done before in your family, let it be done in you. Listen, I don't, what, when I read about Nigerians, I am so proud. Because you know why? Back in the days, before blacks can cross over to Ivy Leagues, always very difficult. I'm not sure in the US, but in the UK, can unpick the amount of blacks that enter university. That is the top college in UK. University of Cambridge, those are the two top colleges. But now these days, anytime I open social media, I see that they are breaking protocols. I see that they are going beyond and above. I see that they are stepping up forward. Obama gave a speech in Howard University, I believe last year, and they said that 50% of the graduates were Nigerians. 50%! Saints, I want us to have this mindset to break protocols. Whoever that your CEO is, what tells you that you cannot get to that position of a CEO? Who tells you that you cannot attain to that top position? Who tells you that you cannot cross boundaries? Hallelujah. Be like the Sinophia's daughters that they cross protocols. When I travel back in the time, I travel with them. But I never see because I use protocols to sit in business class. You know what I do? I dress gorgeously. I walk gorgeously. I carry some expensive things around. And I said, you know what? Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You know what I do? I will be at the last gates, about to close the door. I will walk in with my briefcase and my bag, and I will match quickly. They are about to close. They are rounding up their tickets. And I will say, wow, wonderful. And you know what I do? I the duty free. I will impress myself, try the most expensive perfume I will not buy. I always bypass protocols. And then what I do is I take my gentle seats and I say, wow, this seat is good enough because there's nobody else that is coming in. And I sit there and believe it or not, the next thing I hear is the, the you know, the hostess, the, uh, the, 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 the hostess and hostesses, they will say, listen, the door is closed. And now we're about to give instructions just in case anything happened. And you know what they do? First class, business class, they'll be serving you the wines, the juices, and I'm taking it and I'm sitting and I'm crossing my leg because nobody dared to ask you where is your boarding pass and so I can look at your seat number. I was so bold like a lion. Saints, you got to be bold. Yeah. Be bold. When I go to an interview, I'm just bringing this so that we can pray. Not lower ability. When I go to an interview, the person that knows me very well is here. I'm mixed, that has double masters and double degrees, have nothing to say to them. I ask you, I'm here for an interview with my suits, with my perfume, with my makeup already done, I say, yes, I am. And who am I meeting with? I act so professionally that you cannot even underrate me. And I come in there and they say, do you want a glass of water? You know, when you're sitting in panels. And I tell them, I want a cup of cappuccino. Hallelujah! They might not serve cappuccino, but I'm bringing out my braveness. I'm bringing out the boldness of God in me. And as soon as they start, and I say, oh boy, Lord God, I'll be speaking in tongues that Lord, you take control. Do not put me to shame. I am a daughter of God. I am here to possess my possession. Saints, wherever you are, whoever you are, I want you to be courageous and be bold. Be bold. Because if you are not bold, injustice will happen. Injustice will happen. Tonight, wherever you are, we are in Goshen. It's our year of time. 
It's our season of breakthrough. It's our season of laughter. It's our season of abundance. It's our season of we doing things that is different. It's our season of we being the top and not the bottom. Jesus Christ said, he has blessed us. Amen. Hallelujah. Please let's rise on our feet. Hallelujah. I want you to thank the Lord this hour for change. Your change is here. Open up your mouth and begin to say, Lord, I thank you because my change is here. I thank you because my change is here. I want you to begin to speak prophetically. Talk to God this hour that your change is here. Things will change in your life. Things will give way to, to God's blessing in your life. I want you to begin to prophesy. Your change is here. Your change is now. Your change is here. Your change is now. Remember what the girls did. Remember they said, yes, it is our time. This time must not elude us. This time must not elude us. Begin to talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord this hour, my family's change is here. My family's change is here. My family's time is here. Begin to talk to the Lord. This must be different. This must be different. This must be different. In the name of Jesus, my change is there. My change is here. My change is here. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to talk to the Lord this hour. Irrespective of the story, let the Lord now begin to make change for you irrespective of your story irrespective of where you are let the Lord now begin to change the laws for you. Begin to talk to the Lord this hour. The same miracle that happened during the time of old. Oh Lord, we ask of God, irrespective of our story, irrespective of who we are, Lord, we ask of God, let the laws, let the laws change. Let the laws change. Let the laws change. Let the laws begin to change. Irrespective of our story, let the laws change. Let the law begin to change. The law of the land it will work together for our good. In the name of Jesus, irrespective of our story, let the laws, let the law, let the law of the land begin to change in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray this hour. Many people are afraid. They are afraid to go. They are afraid to, dare, to draw nearer to the Lord. Listen. The Bible says in 2 Timothy verse 1, 7, he said, the Lord God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. I want you to go before the Lord tonight. If these girls were afraid, they would not be able to step and talk to Moses. I want you to ask the Lord this hour, if there's any fear in me. The Bible says that perfect love chested out all fears. Begin to talk to the Lord this hour. Lord, remove that fear in me. That fear for me to receive my promotion. That fear for me to be elevated. That fear for me to get married. That fear for me to have a child. Begin to remove. Oh Lord, I remove those fears. That fear for me to eat the good of the land. Many people have been diagnosed with illness and they cannot pray. Begin to ask the Lord. That fear, that fear that Satan has planted in me, I remove it this hour. I ask that the fire of the Holy Ghost consume it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I remove that fear. I remove that fear. Fear of the unknown. I begin to remove him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I remove that fear. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Whatever that you want to fight for, fight for it. If it's your marriage, fight for it. If, you, if it's your character, fight for it. Do you know what I see these days? I see defamation of characters. We destroy each other for us to pave our way through. And it shouldn't be done. At the, at the job, we gossip. Gossip, office gossip. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Because of what? Because you want to get your way. You want to get a message across. Let's ask the Lord this hour. That these days, Lord... Let the Lord rebuild your character. Whatever you want to fight for, if it's your marriage, if it's an intruder coming into your marriage, fight for it. 
If it's your children that the enemy wants to steal away from you, fight for it. If it's your job that the enemy is threatening, fight for it. Begin to talk to the Lord this hour. Whatever you need, fight for it. Listen, the Zilophia daughters, they fought for their father's inheritance. They said, even though our father had no sons, uh, this is our entitlement. This is our entitlement. We must get our entitlement. It will not be fair. It will not be fair. It will be injustice. Begin to fight for what you want. Want. In the name of Jesus, Father, this our Lord God, uh, we fight for our inheritance. In the name of Jesus, we fight for it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every marriage that has been destroyed, we ask, oh God, Lord, begin to rebuild, rebuild those marriages. In the name of Jesus, every character that has been destroyed, Father, rebuild them. Father, rebuild it. Father, rebuild it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, any Lord, that have been taken forcefully. Lord, restore. This is our time. Our time of restoration. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, Lord God, arise, oh God, and have mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of in Jesus. Mighty name we're praying. I want you to pray this hour that as the year is coming to an end, the Lord should recognize you for a miracle. Did you understand that prayer? As the year is about to come to an end, let the Lord recognize that you are next in line for a miracle. Let the Lord make you a showcase. Let the Lord begin to showcase his miracle in your life that you will not need to talk for people will see that, yes, the Lord God has touched this. The Lord God has touched her. The Lord God has touched him. Begin to talk to the Lord this hour. As the year comes to an end, Lord God, I ask, oh God, recognize me, oh God, that I'm next in line. I am next in line. I am next in line. I am next in line for a miracle. I am next in line for a miracle. I am next in line for a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I am next in line. I say, Lord God, the end of a thing it's better. Lord God, this hour, I am next in line. I am next in line. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am next in line. Arise this hour. Showcase me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For my trust is in you. My confidence in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. In Psalm verse 18, verse 43. The Bible says that thou hast delivered us from the strivings of the people. Do you know if the people have stri strived against these Zilophias girls, they will not be able to possess their possession because there will be so much contentions, there will be so much opposition. That it was my favorite verse, chapter in the Bible. I want us to that point to that. The Lord God delivered you you don't know where they are striving against you. It could be spiritual. It could be physical. It could be near. It could be afar off. I want you to lift up your voices of prayers this hour to the Lord and ask God, Lord, deliver me. Deliver my family. Deliver my children from the strivings of the people. Make us to be the head over the hidden. I want you to begin to talk to the Lord this hour. Lord, deliver us from the striving of the people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver us, O oh God. According to your word. In Psalm chapter 18, verse 43. Father, deliver. Deliver us, O oh God. In the land of Goshen. Deliver us, O oh God. Deliver us, O oh God. Deliver us, O oh God. Oh God. From the striving striving of the people in the name of Jesus. Deliver us. I and the children that you have given unto us. Deliver us, O oh God. Deliver our church from the strivings of the people. Father, we say thank you. Lord God, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Saints, there are three things that I want us to associate with Goshen. Goshen is a place of peace. Goshen is a place of progress. And Goshen is a of action. Three things I want us to align where we are. I want to talk to the Lord and that the Lord, as I'm about to end 2017, let me start and kick off my 2018 promotion. Peace. 
progress. Whatever God is going to do, He will do. The Bible says, when you open your mouth wide, what happens? I want you to lift up your voices this hour and pray that you are in Goshen 2017. Goshen 2017 is what's going to carry you and kick you off to the new year. To all the way to Goshen 2018. I want you to begin to pray to the Lord this hour. Let me experience your peace. Your peace that passes all human understanding. Let me experience progress. And progress leads to what? It leads to promotion. The Bible says promotion does not come from the north, nor south, nor east, nor west, but it comes from above. According to Psalm 75 verse 6, I want you to begin to authorize this hour. Authorize the council of heaven to give you peace. Authorize the council of heaven to make you to progress. Authorize the council of heaven to promote you this hour. Your labor will not be in vain. I want you to begin to pray. Father, in this ministry, we will be in peace in this ministry. We shall live in peace in this ministry. We shall dwell in peace. We shall progress in every area of our lives in 2017 and up to 2018. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall be lifted. Lifted with promotion. Promotion on all sides. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. We begin to prosper. Yes, Lord. Uh, land of Goshen is a land of prosperity. As Lord, this hour we declare, we decree our peace, we declare, we decree our progress, we declare, we decree our promotion in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, so it is, so shall it be, so it is. Father, we say thank you. Lord God, we bless you. Lord God, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. One more prayer. That the spirit of the Lord laid upon my heart is for us to pray for accuracy. Accuracy in every area of our life. Let our life be accurate. When your life is accurate, it will yield results. When your life is accurate, it will bring rain in due season. When your life is accurate, people will be positioned to favor you. Begin to ask the Lord this hour. Spirit of the Lord laid it upon my heart. Accuracy. Begin to decree. Oh Lord, I ask oh God this hour for accuracy. In the name of Jesus, the children of Zilophiad, I can align with them that they were accurate in their dealing. They were accurate with their presentation. They were accurate with their proposal. That is why God in his infinite mercy answered unto Moses and said, let let them be granted. Let their petition be granted. Let their petition be granted. Lord, we ask, oh God, for accuracy. In the name of Jesus, in this ministry, in every department, we ask, oh God, for accuracy. Whatever we choose, whatever we plan, we ask, oh God, for accuracy. In the name of Jesus, begin to open up your mouth. Begin to speak highly unto God. Accuracy. 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 Right. I thank you, praises. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, to your name, Lord. Thank you, 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 Holy Spirit of God. I give you glory, I give you honor, I give you adoration. Thank you, Father. We bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Among every other prayer that I want us to pray, I will only summarize it into one. And that will be the rewriter of destiny. Rewrite my destiny. Your life, your fruitfulness, your progress, your peace, your joy, your fruitfulness, your establishment, all are encompassed in that one word, destiny. If your destiny is fulfilled, you will be at peace. You will be progressive. You will have everything. Rewriter of destiny. Ah. Glory, write my destiny tonight. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power that is in the blood of the Lamb you shed at the cross of Calvary, you are the one who made all things, who formed all things. 
you declare the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end. We bring ourselves back unto you this hour, asking, O oh Lord, rewrite our destiny. Rewrite our destiny. Whichever way we have wandered away from our destiny, whichever way we have compromised our destiny, whichever way we have fallen short of your grace, O oh Lord, that is connected to our destiny, we bring ourselves in subjection unto your leadership. Lord, rewrite, rely and restore. Restore our our destiny, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Restore our destiny. Restore our destiny. Restore our destiny. Restore our the destiny of the men and women connected to this ministry. The youth of this ministry, the children of this ministry, the toddler, the infant, the newborn, and the unborn babies of this ministry. Oh, Jehovah, those that are here, those that are not here, we pray thee tonight, O oh Lord Jehovah, under this unction, restore our destiny. Ah, restore our destiny. Our destiny. Restore our destiny. Restore our destiny. We are connected to you. You are in not the hope of glory. Lord, restore our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, we pray. So let's throw our hand and pray for the woman of God whom God has used to speak to us. Maybe you don't get anything at all. <laughs> Maybe there is nothing you got in the old one hour she's been standing. But at least you are still alive. And because you are alive, stretch out your hand and pray. Virtue has come out of her, as the Lord will restore her, to strengthen her and to renew her, shall we pray. Father, we lift you up as we acknowledge that you give her of <laughs> all the gifts. We appreciate your gift, and in the calling of your daughter, whom you are used to bring forth your word of knowledge unto us tonight, we receive those words of thanksgiving, and in return, we pronounce blessing upon her. We ask that you cause our heaven to open, King of glory, energize her, re equip her, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, strengthen her from above, baptize her, our friend, in the power of your Holy Ghost. Any time our Lord in season and out of season, as she stand for you, you will stand with her. You will stand by her and stand for her. Her well will not dry. Holy Spirit will not depart from you. In the name of Jesus, you have started where you will end well. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, we pray. And the church of God will say, Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Because of our time, we're going to bring it to an end tonight.